to the SDL on Xcode tutorial. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to use Xcode to do SDL development on OS. OS. To start, we need to download the SDL framework for our system. To do so, we need to go to the SDL frame, uh, framework's official website and click the link on the upper right corner here. That will bring us to the library download. We need to go to the development library section and click the link for download for Mac OS here. I have already downloaded here. Once you open this package, you will see the SDL2 framework inside the package. We need to bring this package into our system. To do so, we need to uh, go to the uh, library framework folder. Once we go get here, we need to drag this framework into the folder here. You can see that I have already uh, done so before. If you have not done that, you need to drag this folder all the way into this folder here. Once you are done, then we uh, our system will have the SDL framework for our development. So let's suppose we have done so. Now let's open up Xcode. We need to create a new Xcode project using the menu here. Now in this tab, we are going to choose the app template and click next. We are going to call our product name SDL Tutorial. And then um, for the language, it actually doesn't matter we choose or just C or Swift because we are going to do C++ anyway. I am going to choose Object C here because it is closer to C++, but as it turns out, it doesn't matter. Let's click Next. And then we will create our uh, folder here. Once our project is created, you can see on the left panel here a lot of files. Most of them are related to Object C, for example, these two, and also uh, the main menu X and the main M, all these four files are not needed anymore, so we are going to delete it. Now, we also need to do some changing in the Eiffel playlist. For example, we don't need the principal class because we're not going to use it, use the object C. Also, we don't need the init file. And that's pretty much it. That ought to give us a clean, clean template for the development. Also here, we don't need this in the uh, setting here. Let's see, keep the Xcode version. Now, what should we do next? We need to create a CPP file that contains the main function. So we are going to create a, a C++ source file. Uh, we are going to call it main, and we do not need a header file for it. So that will give us the CPP file. In here, we are going to write down our main entry point. Okay. If you have done uh, C++ or C before, you should be familiar, familiar with this. Let's try to test uh, whether the uh, app work. Let's go into plain hello SDL. And let's click one. For the first one, it might take a while for it to show up. Let's be patient. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, here we go. It seems everything worked. Next, we need to bring the SDL2 framework into our project. To do so, let's click the uh, blue icon, icon here, and then go to the build phrase. We need to link the binary with the libraries we just downloaded. So we need to click here and then add others, add file, and then navigate to the system library and then frameworks. And you can see that uh, SD2, uh, uh, SDL2 framework is here. Click open. 
that actually bring the framework into our project already. We can actually use it. For example, we can include SDL. You can see that uh, Xcode immediately recognized the SDL2 folder here. And then we're going to use SDL H. That will bring all the functionality of SDL2 into uh, the MAPE CPP. Now, in order to use SDL, we first need to initialize the system. To do so, we are going to use the SDL init. The SDL init will return um, negative one if it fails. And for simplicity, we are going to init everything in this tutorial. Now, if it's less than zero or negative one, it is it has something wrong with it. So we are going to print the arrow. And in this tutorial, actually, uh, we call the um, main stock CPP is a CPP version. But actually, I write everything in C. We are going to see the real feature of C++ later. Now, and then we need to return one. Here you can see that I use something called SDL get error to get the error when there's something wrong with it. Xcode has one advantage that you can see the documentation of the function easily. On the right panel here, you can see the uh, quick help thing here. And then you can click the function name you would like to get help. Hmm. What's wrong with it? Let me try to search. That documentation right here, SDL. Hmm. Maybe later. Once you uh, init, I would like to do this thing in pair. For example, you have it init, you should have it quit. So before we leave the system, let's try to use SDL quit to quit the system. Now, here is the documentation of SDL init. Okay, and that is the get error. The system need to take time to index the header file, I guess. Next, uh, once we init the SDL system, we need to create a window. To create a window, we need to use SDL create window. You can see that uh, the function take one, two, three, four, five, and six arguments. And we, we would like to know more about this function, you can click here and then on the right panel you can see explanation of the parameters. For example, the first one, title, is the title of the window. So I'm going to call it uh, tutorial. And for the x, x is the x position of the window. It can be SDL wins center or undefined. So I'm going to use undefined for x and y. Uh, window position undefined and also this one next uh, that is the width of the windows I'm going to set it to be 800 and that will be 600 window song let's go back to the documentation and look at the H. Notice that the width and the height is in screen coordinates, not in pixel. And the flex here, you can, if you look carefully, it actually does not include SDL window shown. It is because this is default. Uh, SDL window shown is default in the create window, unless you specify uh, SDL window hidden. So because we don't need any other flag now, so I'm going to use this default uh, flag. In principle, when we use SDL, we should check if anything go wrong, goes wrong. To do so, we need to say if uh, not window, that means if it is now, then we need to print uh, the arrow and return one like this. But once we get this. We should um, destroy the window before we leave. 
in order to avoid memory leak. Leak. And now, to show the wi window, we need to write a event loop. So, for the event loop, I need something called the SDL event, and also a boolean to indicate whether the uh, loop is running. I use quit. So while not quit, we are going to do our loop. Now the loop is usually divided into several parts. The first part is uh, event handling, and the second part is um, rendering. And maybe you need to do some updates of your uh, game status or something like that, animation. So today we're going to do only one thing, the event handling and to do so we are going to do SDL pool um, and event so if the event type is SDL quit meaning that we close the app and we say quit should be true you can look at the documentation of uh, SDL pool events here <clears throat> it will pull the current depending events from the window or also keyboard now we only take care of one event the SDL grid later we are going to see how to take care of mouse click and keyboard press okay I think that's it that's enough for us to run the window and let me clean the folder and then try to run it you should, should expect some error. Let's see what kind of error we have. Right, the file is compiled successfully, but we have some problem about the library. It said that the library is not loading. And if you would like to read carefully, it said that no suitable image found. Okay, it said it defined a library in our system, but not in the app bundle. To include the uh, app or the framework into our system, or sorry, into the bundle, you need to click the setting and then go to the general tab. In here, you will see frameworks library and embedded content. All we need to do is to embed and sign, and that will bring the framework into our bundle. Let's try to run it. It is not complete, so we expect another error. Let's see the what kind of error we have now. You said that uh, it's the same error, library not loaded, but and it defined it also defined the uh, frame already, but the code signature is not right. Okay, so it found the um, framework, but the cosine is not good. So we need to cosine the framework correctly. The problem is that uh, inside the SDL framework, it has its sub framework inside. We need to cosine the uh, framework inside the SDL framework as well. To do so, we need to go to the build setting, insert cosine, and here for the other cosigning flex, we need to set it. Set one thing. We need to set a uh, dash dash and then dip. I mean, we need to recursively sign all the framework. Okay, that should be able to let us run the app correctly. Right, here is our window. It has nothing on it because we have not rendered anything on it. And you, you notice there was something wrong with the title bar. It's kind of blurry. It is because we have not yet set the uh, high resolution capable of our app. To do so, we need to go back to the info p list and then click a, a plus icon here to add an entry. The entry is called high resolution capable. We need to set it to yes. And that will be enough for us to fix the problem. Let's see. See? Now, if the title bar is no longer blurry and it looks nice, and you can see that the app 
correspond to nothing but only the default behavior of uh, minimizing and restoring to the original window. And we can click this one to close the window because we handle the SDL quick. All right. I think that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for listening and see you next time.